All right, Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to y'all watching, y'all shout that put the spirit on me to um, come with this video. You know, I, I look at this video, this guy right here. You know, um, hold on, I'm gonna get my mouth straight. You know, um, I'll say, uh, Duke Jackson. You know, you know, he come out with a video saying, you know, dude didn't want to step up doing that. He trying to call, um, you know, quarterback 49ers, um, a half breed. You know, that's showing that, you know, you, you, you unlearned. And you Negroes, you need to start, you know, you need to start learning about genealogy. But that's something that back in the 1920s that they did not show you. You know, when, when it comes to genealogy, it goes to your father, okay? You know, he's saying that he was raised by two Caucasians, you know, the uh, quarterback. Now, unfortunately, you know, for me, um, my father is so-called North American Indian. I was raised by two um, so-called Negroes, all right? You know, my, you know, that's what my forefather go back to, the so-called Native Americans. And so that you Negroes are so unlearned that you saying half-breed, there's no such thing as half-breed. Whatever your father is, that's what you is, man. And you shouldn't be criticizing that quarterback for not fucking, you know, stand up for that fucking bullshit ass, you know, national anthem, man. I fucking hate this fucking country, man. Just to, just to let you know, man. You know, you going on, I'm going to put a, you know, I'm going to put your name, I'm going to put a response to your video. You know, I'm going to start doing like little response videos towards, your, you know, towards people that, you know, I'm going to correct y'all, man. Because y'all don't know that shit, man. I'm going to start correcting you. I'm going to start correcting Sort of my Europe Because it doesn't matter, you know. If your father is black, man. You know. That's that's the genealogy of your father, man. Like, you know. Tell somebody to say half-breed. You know. Is Blake Griffin a half-breed? Or is that dude from the Golden State? Is he a half-breed? What's one playing better? Is the white part of him or the black, black part of him? But I'm going to put on. You know. He was talking about the... um. You know, discrimination and things like that. I mean, uh, I thought you was just a regular coon talking shit at first. I didn't mean to put these comments right here. You know, I put my bad. Then I, you know, I didn't watch the whole video. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't mean to, um, you know, to offend you or, you know, disrespect you. But one thing in this country that's going to happen is going to be race wars that's going to happen. All right. This is, um, you know. And um, the dude, the quarterback, he doing a good thing, man. Like, man, not giving a fuck about this country. Don't trust in this goddamn country, man. This is um, Isaiah 31 and, I mean, 31 and 1. Woe to them that go to Egypt for help and should stay on horses and trust in chariots. You know, do not trust in this goddamn country, man. When, it's, when shit goes down, don't fucking come to, you know, do not trust in this country. Don't trust in that section, section 8. You not trust that you bought a house and you got to pay this mortgage. Do not trust in any of the, you know, the money system. Do not trust in it. You can trust in it for, you know, a certain amount of time, you know, whatever value you're getting out of it. But don't fucking trust it. Because there are many in, in the horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. You know, they do not look. You know, they ain't looking for the Yahweh and Yahweh shot. You know. Neither seek the Lord. They, they do not seek, you know, this fucking devil, the government, they do not seek the Lord. They do according to what they feel, man. You know, according to their fucking soul. Okay. Yet he also is wise and will bring evil. And will not call back his word, but will arise against the horses of the Ebedor and against the help of them that work in iniquity. <coughs> This government work iniquity. So what this um this quarterback did, man, he did exactly what you so called Negroes and you criticizing this guy. He that's what you niggas got to do, man. You man, you criticize like man. He didn't stand you, man. You you don't have a problem, nigga. You been fucking oppressed for this fucking country, man, for four hundred years, and you fucking seen the nationality, and you fucking around. And love this fucking country, man. I'm trying to profit in this goddamn nation, man. How dare you make a fucking comment? How, how dare you make a video like this, man? Like, yeah, ooh, ooh. 
Like, man, do you have a problem with so-called Hispanics? That's why I'm finding out about you, like, you so-called black nation, you know, nationalists. Man, I, I've been to you rallies, man. I can come up there, and I go to you black nationalists years ago. Go up from there. I'm thinking y'all about to talk about the so-called white man, but y'all fucking talk about the so-called Mexicans. Yeah, they taking our jobs and this, that, and the dirt. Like, motherfucker, who giving them the job? The fucking so-called white man. They all with the fucking source, man. If your girlfriend leave you, it's the fucking white man. All right? You can hit by a fucking car. It's the fucking white man. It's the the fucking white man. All right? You tired of you goddamn niggas, man. Y'all y'all don't got no fucking knowledge, man. It's out here. But you being a fucking nigga, man. And I'm fucking sick of that shit. Reason more. As, as much as citizens as anybody else in this fucking country. You, sir, benefit from white supremacy. I ain't benefit for shit. He didn't benefit for shit. Matter of fact, it's motherfucker black um fucking celebrity that benefited from you know more than him. Talking about he benefited, he ain't benefit for shit, man. He a fucking slave just as you, motherfucker. Man, stop that fucking light skinned dark skinned bullshit, man. Motherfucker. All of you Negroes benefit from white supremacy in some fucking way. You can complain about it all you want, but what you have right now. Is benefited from white supremacy. Not really. They stole, man, they stole a lot of shit from white. You know, these so-called white people stole a lot of shit from you, man. Those so-called Jews stole a lot of shit from you. They stole your fucking inheritance. I'm going to get on that right now. I'm going to get that shit right now. I'm going to go to the blue letter. Like, yeah, you read for black, white supremacy. Know what the fuck we didn't, man. You know, I apologize for his, um, his shit, but fuck that shit, man. Those so-called Jews took our shit, man. I'm, I'm glad I'm making this vi these videos, man. This motherfucker don't know what you fucking talking about. You just a simple-ass nigga. All right, Revel Revelation chapter 2, verse 9. I know the worst are in tribulation, in poverty. So, nigga, nigga, did, you know, you heard that verse right there. You heard that verse right there. You looking stupid as fuck, man. You like, um, you got that stupid ass look on your face. Like, man, um, I don't know what you're going to get next. And, you know, I'm going to read it again. Revelation 2 or 9. I know that worse tribulation and poverty, but they are rich. And I know the blasphemy of them will say they are Jews and are not in the blood of the sin of God's Satan. Those the motherfuckers that benefit from the shit that's happening right now. Okay. Nobody else. The so-called Europeans right now, they, they, they benefited, but not as much as those so-called Jews. They took a lot of shit from you fucking so-called Negroes, man. You busted your ass out in the fucking cotton field. You built up the White House. You did a lot of shit, man. You didn't benefit none of that shit, man. Not a fucking thing, man. I know you're not going to like what the fuck I'm saying, but that's true. No, that's not really true, man. You You... You saying a little bit of something, but it's not fucking true, man. But now all of a sudden, you got a problem with the United States flag. You 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 got a problem with it. But here's the trick. But I bet you don't don't have a problem with the motherfucking United States. You can go down to Egypt, man. Fuck out of here, man. Colin Kaepernick is a light skinned black man. Look, dude, I live in Chicago, Illinois. I get discriminated against fucking hunkies, man. It doesn't matter what type of skin tone you are, man. You, you, you Negroes, y'all need to be re-educated about genealogy, okay? It don't go by your fucking flesh. It's go by the seed of your fucking father. Ain't no such thing happening. That came from no goddamn crack-ass hunkies, man. Now, I'm getting tired. I'm getting sick of that shit, man. Never really been fully accepted by the black community. And no. now, since the 49ers is about two or three seconds from cutting your sorry ass from the team, as a backup, <laughs> what you're trying to do is try to be accepted by black folks. And it the does. Way that you can do Matter of fact, he's not even just black folks. He's talking about just black and, and so-called other ethnic, you know, minority. I think this dude, 
you know, the quarterback for the 49ers. I think he, he, he watching our videos, man. If he said that shit, man, he watching our video. But this nigga, he's very unlearned, man. Do this is take a stand for Black Lives Matter. Because, I mean, right now. Matter know, of fact, I, I'm not going to take no stand for no Black Lives Matter. Fuck those niggas, man. And matter of fact, you get shot back cops, I don't give a fuck. Because your life don't matter because you don't got no fucking knowledge. And matter of fact, it don't matter to those goddamn hunky ass cops. Okay? You can't even start. You playing like shit. You're playing terrible. You've been hurt. You've been injured. You're done. Your career is washed. And he, it, it, this is saying, this is something wrong with you, you so called Negroes, man. You. Somebody stand there for you, 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 man, you, you, um, you criticize, you know, somebody that's like, you know, Latinos or something like that, y'all criticize the fuck out of them, but when some, you know, when these fucking crackers, um, talk shit about you, you know, uh, make, you know, they get caught saying some racist shit about you, you go get the white man to fucking get the, get that white man to fucking, um, get out. That's fucking hilarious. You need to start thinking about this, man. So now you want to be... Duke Johnson, man. You need to just shut the fuck up, man. You need to just shut the fuck a up. A leader. Man, you not a leader, man. Shut the fuck up, man. When in fact, you've never been a part of no fucking black community. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. He not a black... Man, I, I'm not a part of the black community because I don't give a fuck about you niggas, man. I wanted you niggas, man. I, I told you niggas, man. There's going to be a race war in this country. You know, we, you know, you had the Hebrew Israelites and we, we prophesied to you so-called Negro, Latino, Native American that, you know, that y'all going to be delivered. But man, be honest with you, though, black communities under the curses, fuck the community. We don't give a fuck about the community because they're a piece of shit. These lean popping ass motherfuckers. Man, you I, I wish the crackheads was around, man. I, I wish they was fucking around. I, I fucking miss those fucking crackheads because they they fish your cars up. They they mow you know, they're mowing your lawn and shit, but these lean ass, you know, lean motherfuckers and these pill poppers man, all they do is get high and go to fucking sleep. They wake up shit and piss and get high again. Fuck the goddamn black community. Fuck the fucking hood, man. That's how you got to be. Starting quarterback right now, winning games, making a ton of money. Talking about shit like, man, y'all, y'all, like you you, used to. y'all, 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 y'all niggas got to get out there, um, light skin and dark skin and shit, man. Because you never cared. Niggas oh, he did. When you were hey, what about the other niggas that didn't care, man? What about Michael Jordan that was selling all those fucking J's to you niggas and y'all were killing each other for it, man? I, I'm just wondering. I'm, I'm just making commentary, man. But you're honoring the flag then. What you are is an emotional little bitch. What, what about the um the other niggas that was honoring that flag? They were taking off their hats and shit like that. You know, niggas like this. You know, this is fucking cool, man. I, I, I'm going to... Man, every video I see of you, I'm just going to flame the fuck out of you, man. I'm just going to flame the goddamn shit out of you, man. Just because. Bitch. <laughs> well, you you giggling like somebody you know, like your, your stepdad came up, you know, when you was a kid, you know, he came in your bed, he put his cock in you, and you giggling like it, like a fucking faggot, you know. That's how he giggled. I'm gonna flame the fuck out of you, man, because you don't know shit. You mad because you fucking suck. No, you mad because you fucking suck dick, motherfucker. I'm going. And now you want to take a stand for Black Lives Matter. You 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 want somebody to stand up and put a rod in your fucking mouth, motherfucker. I mean, nigga, well, let's be real, dog. Man, I, I ain't gonna lie, man. Fuck Black Lives Matter, man. It ain't shit, man. It really ain't shit. What you're trying to do is benefit from the fact that you're half breed. You There's no such thing as a half breed, man. How the fuck you gonna be a half breed, man? Give me something about Blake Griffin, that motherfucker from the Golden State Warriors, being a half breed. Why? We're sad to playing better, man. I'm getting, I'm getting tired of that half breed shit, man. Man, get the fuck on for this shit, man. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna make a post response to you, man. With that, I'm gonna say shalom.
For right now, I'm gonna make a um part two of this nigga right here. You know, a little stand. I'm just gonna be making fun of you niggas, man. All right, Shalom.